In this exercise, we are going to check for data independent. Inside this data table, we have two sets of data. Data 1 and data 2. Both have 50 data points. We are going to check for the data independent for both sets of data. Firstly, we look at the data distribution. Let's stack both data for better viewing. Firstly, we need the autocorrelation value. To get his value, click on the small red triangle over at the summary statistic, and select Customize Summary Statistic. Look for the autocorrelation and include it in the summary. You can now see autocorrelation value inside the summary statistic. Autocorrelation value is a value between minus 1 to 1. 1 indicate that data is fully correlated, or data is not independent. This means there is a sequence dependency inside the data. Data 1 have a small autocorrelation value compared to data set 2. Data 2 have 0.829 autocorrelation value. Potentially there is a pattern inside this data. To confirm this, we will use the Durbin-Watson analysis. Go to Analyze and select Fit Model. Add both data into the Y box. Let's check the analysis one by one. We start with data 1 first. Go to the small red triangle and select Row Diagnostic and the Durbin-Watson test. At the summary of Durbin-Watson test, find the p-value. For data 1, p-value is 0 0.5. If p-value is greater than 0.05, then data is independent. Or the autocorrelation value is not significant. Let's repeat the analysis for data 2. We can say that the p-value is less than 0.05. This means that data is not independent or the autocorrelation value is significant. Now let's plot the run chart to see whether there is any significant pattern inside the data. We are going to use graph builder function. Before we do that, let's insert a data sequence into a new column. This is for chart plotting purpose. Go the data table. Click on the column header and select new column. Let's label it as n. Go to the empty cells and enter 1, 2 and 3 into the top 3 cells. Highlight all the three cells and right-click on the mouse, select Fill, Continue Sequence to End of Table. If we scroll down we can see there are 50 data points. Now we are ready to plot the run chart. Select Graph, Graph Builder. Drag N into X and Data 1 into Y. Select Line Chart. For Data 1, we can see that there is no pattern in the data. Let's repeat this for data 2. Go to Start Over button to start clear the chart. Now repeat the steps for data 2. For data 2 we can clearly see a pattern. This means there is something that makes the data to move up and down in such pattern. 